When a manufacturer downsizes a five inch frame, there are a number of corners that they will naturally need to cut in order to meet the size and weight objectives of a smaller three or four inch frame. Now, where Impulse have cut these, it's been very strategic and it hasn't, in my mind, been a compromise. In the five inch version, there are four rows of standoffs, which keep that larger frame really rigid. In the three and four inch versions, which use the same top, middle and bottom plate, the only difference is the arm length, they've gone for three rows of standoffs. In my mind, it hasn't really affected the rigidity and the frame still feels really solid. The other area where you can notice the cut corner, and I think this is really done from a weight perspective, just due to the added bulk, to mount the arms to the middle and bottom plate, they're only using one bolt per arm. However, the same process like they have on the full size frame of using shoulder bolts where only the tip that goes into the press nut is tapped and the rest is solid, is still used to keep these bolts in place. One of the great things Impulse do is have the stack screws as non-load bearing bolts. The way they achieve this is having each of the bolts countersunk into the plate and then for your main stack mount, that's part of the wedge between the middle and bottom plate and the arms. The issue I have with the Micro Apex is they've still gone and used an M3 bolt for your stack screws. In most of the Micro stuff, you're going to be using M2. The other little pain point I have is they haven't actually included an all-in-one whoop mounting pattern on it. Rather, they've opted to go down the print your own TPU. The biggest disappointment I found with the Micro Apex was that it didn't include the antenna mount that was in all of the photos. Now, I know I'm being super picky and it's absolutely ridiculous to say, well mate, why don't you go and 3D print an antenna mount? And to be fair, Impulse RC have on Thingiverse made available the STL files, which is exactly what I've gone and done. The issue I found is I ordered the Coyote Brown plastics, which are not 3D printed. They come from HQ Prop and are really, really nice. So I would have liked to have had that same antenna mount come in the same plastic, just for consistency. Now, I'm quite lucky because my local FPV store does 3D printing and they happen to have a caramel TPU. And that's the closest I've actually seen to the Coyote Brown. And it doesn't look too out of place having the antenna mount 3D printed in caramel and then added to the back. I've also gone and had some standoff mounts for a Immortal T printed, which sit at the back underneath. Now, in terms of my specific build, I've gone with the Beta FPV 2004 motors, the Jhemku 20x20 all-in-one, and a CADX Vista with the Nebula Pro camera. I'm also running it on 4S with an XT30, but that may be swapped over to an XT, XT60 in due course. One of the things Impulse also does really well is include a ton of hardware. They often include a little more than what you actually need to give you different options with your build. Overall, it is a really neat and tidy little build. It's very obvious that Impulse RC have done an amazing job at taking a full-size quad and shrinking it down into four inch. The four inch frame is gonna be perfect for anyone who's trying to hit sub 250 and maintain as many of the flight characteristics as you possibly can that a traditional five inch would have without a lot of the sacrifices to stay on that five inch platform and still hit those same weight goals. Check out Uma God's video on that one. The four inch would also be great for a micro long range build that you also wanna have some freestyle capabilities with. Sure, it's gonna be a bit on the heavier side, but that's where the freestyle ability really comes in. A lot of the 4-inch micro long-range builds sacrifice those freestyle qualities in order to be able to hit their long-range goals. However, because this is going to have a little bit more heft and have very similar flight characteristics to the 5-inch one, or as similar as you're going to get given the, the size and the scale, it's going to get you to be the best of both worlds.